how does it feel to be a video game journalist, chat? Like, how do you think it's like to, to create division where there is none? To, to try and create issues where there are none. You know, like most people, like for example myself, you know, I, I do think that I'm making a job very similar to a game journalist. Like I comment about things, I tell my opinion, and then I log off. And you know what? At the end of the day, I am happy because I get a lot of messages with people who are entertained and they're like, well, thank you V, I, I had a bad day today, but I listened to some of your videos and it cheered me up. Unironically, that is the highlight of my week when someone says something like that. But when you're a game journalist and you're just saying outrageous stuff for the sake of being outraged, do you genuinely feel like some satisfaction? Like, I'm curious. Like, how, how can you consider it to be a successful day? It's like, ah, I insulted and outraged a bunch of people on the internet. My work here is done. So listen to this. Uh, fans of Carlock Fever only feel possible because most don't see her blackness. Well, I, I got news for you. I absolutely despise this character. No, seriously, like, I hate her. Like, first of all, she's not aesthetically pleasing. Like, she has been burned. She she has her skin singed. And, and I'm sorry if I have, like, higher standards when it comes to picking my waifus. Right? So, like, as a romantic interest, I, I say hard pass. Especially with the mental illness haircut. Like, th this level of haircut is not appealing... I genuinely do not know who likes it. Like, I've yet to meet a person that, that would prefer a woman to have this haircut over just having long hair. The haircut itself, by the way, it, it's supposed to reject the concept of beauty. They call it traditional beauty, but that is not that, that is nonsense. Okay, like, beauty is beauty. You cannot, like, reject it and be like, oh, I, I'm going to shave my head. And therefore, people are going to be forced to, like, no, it's unappealing. Okay, doesn't even have big boobs. So, therefore, Italy will have a problem with it. But can she be my friend? Right? Like, that would be another question. Like, if not as a romantic interest, can she be my friend? No. She is extremely vulgar. She's got, like, these Zoomer takes, the, these horrible bad jokes. Everything must be equipped with her. I do not like her. There, there is nothing appealing about her. So, I guess the bet is you. Checkmate. What are you going to say about me, right? It's probably because I do see her blackness. Huh? Do, do you think that's how they're going to spin it? I think that's how they're going to spin it. If you like her, it's because you don't see the blackness. If you don't like her, it's because you see... You can't win with these people, I guarantee you. Also, like, the excellent writing decisions. Um, Chat, I got some bad news for you. I'm playing Neverwinter Nights. It is a night and day difference. The writing in Neverwinter Nights is so much superior than Baldur's Gate. Obviously, the game isn't as complex. Uh, most of your decisions do not matter as much. But the writing, the characters, I mean, they're, they're definitely wholesome. You, you have characters that, that have meaning. Even Mass Effect, like Mass Effect, oh my god, Mass Effect, miles above ba Baldur's Gate 3. Like Mass Effect, Tali Zora vs. Normandy, ooh la la. I, I think like the only... In fact, Baldur's Gate 3 is probably the first game that I have played that none of the characters have appealed to me. There isn't a single character that I find appealing. Go play um, Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Like, you got that goblin, dude. You know, like, like for the first time ever, there is a RPG where a male character outshines all the female ones. I forgot his name, goddammit. But, like, he, he was just, just the best character in video game history, I would say. Uh, then you have the succubus, Arya Shal. Then, then you have, like, that, that uh, elvish girl, which is burned. Um, she's not a romance interest, but, like, her character is so fucking good. Like, she's pure chaotic good the angels they're, they're actually lawful good they're like superman that like the story is so well written and, and to claim that well Baldur's gate three no fuck off it, it's a good game i'm not going to say it's not but it does have like a lot of cringe writing and the characters it's more like i'm putting up with them 
rather than their being likable. And and by the way, I played uh, Baldur's Gate 2 recently. Again, night and day difference. I mean, Vicomnia de Vir outshines every single character from this. So to call it excellent writing is your opinion, okay? Like, it's subjective. Uh, there's a stark difference in the love for characters. Uh, and, and they put Carlock in a weird place. While I know there are people who dislike Carlock, like me, this is a minority of players. No, like, the majority of players seem to go for Shadowheart, according to statistics. So, no, I don't think it's a minority of players. Like, like you, you can't just put this out of your asshole and just claim, oh, yeah, well, it's a minority. No. By what standard? Like, I, I go on various forums. I go on Twitter. I look in the comment section. Most people do not like Carlock. She curses a lot. She's too vulgar. Uh, many love the Thiefling for her kind yet spunky personality or compelling story that mirrors the battles of the living with a terminal illness. Again, wh why do you think I would enjoy it? Like, this is depressing shit. <laughs> uh, some like Carlock's kit for combat as a barbarian with incredibly stats. Other love her large form and use mommy almost excessively. Oh, God. In a recent Q&A, they explained how uh, Carlock felt designed to be loved. She's not the only person written like this. Baldur's Gate 3 uh, developers uh, have also talked about Will, which is Prince Charming because he's a warlock. Uh, and uh, Will is uh, mostly ignored at best. Yeah, Will is ignored because most of the players are men. And, um, yeah, they they like the waifu. What can I say? Even as the Baldur's Gate uh, 3 community stays fairly welcoming of expressions of sexuality and gender. Yeah, again, no, no, they don't. No, they absolutely fucking literally don't. If you put an anime girl in Baldur's Gate 3, they will freak the fuck out. The, the only reason that they like free expressions of sexuality and gender is that as long as it doesn't cater to the male gaze. It's the only sexuality that's not represented in this game. The game has characters so bad, so bland, that people had to make mods in order to find this game even remotely playable. This is how detached the journalist is. So, uh, apparently they're, they're talking about racismus now. Um, fandom's response to Will, I have complicated feelings about that direction Raria took to Carla. I, I don't get it. How, how can you look at this game and say racismus? Uh, I look at Will and his actor... Oh, so, so basically she thinks, oh my fucking god, this journalist is, is just, wow. She thinks that because people didn't like Will, they must not like black people. Don't they like that dark elf lady? That Does she count? That, that paladin lady? That, that she, or are we not going to look into that? But, but what I love the most, like, like look at these journalists, right? Look, look how they're thinking. There are so many reasons why people may choose not to like Will. First of all, as a warlock, he's not that powerful. Secondly, he is way too good. If you want to do anything bad, he disapproves. So, so if you want Will, you, you got to play like an angel. Thirdly, he's a man. Right? Like all these other things can be used. No, it's racismus. The earliest images of Carlox, well, quite the EA Carlox, uh, showed her with a clearly black physique. Yeah, again, like, it doesn't matter. It's it's not the physique. Oh, my fucking God. Okay, I take it back. Is this journalist for real? Like, do they think all black people look the same? Okay, so, like, if you're showing me a picture of a black person and I don't like her, do you think, like, that means racism, right? What about this picture here that you used in the thumbnail? What, what, what if she looks like this? What, why is it that this... And, and I still don't like Like, it still can have improvements. But, like, why is this superiorly better to this? Huh? So, so like, if you're showing me a picture of a 45-year-old character, and I don't like it, it means... Oh, well, clearly you don't like me. Oh, my God. Like, how are these journalists managing to even think about writing these... Uh, can we call them thought pieces? Like that's what it is. Is it like? But but a thought piece like requires you to to think about the subject a little bit. Like no seriously. Like how is it? Like how how do you come up with the idea to write something like this? Jesus. Like first of all, if you do not like a person, 
of a race. That's not discrimination. Like, bouncing on someone's pee-pee is a privilege, not a right. Like, literally, that is the argument that you have against, like, conversion therapy. It's like, no, they're born that way, right? Like, sexuality is something that you can't change. And just like a person likes men, like, some people have preferences, right? Like, that's, that's all about the preference. Some women like tall men, other women like short men. Of course, like, the, the preference even comes with facial features, with, with like, uh, body language, behavioral. Okay, like, some people may not like a particular race. Like, like if, if a black woman doesn't like me because I'm white, is, is that, like, her being discriminative towards me? Like, I don't think it's my human right to be liked by someone. But again, you know, like, maybe I'm wrong. What do I know? I haven't gone to, to gender studies, right? So so you, you have to. Like, you, you have to like absolutely everything. Like, if you don't like grandmas, you're ageist. Huh? Is that is that how it works? Oh, dear Spiro. But, but even then, right? Like, even, even if... Let's say, like, for instance, if you show me a picture of a 45-year-old woman who's white, and I don't like her. Does that mean that I don't like any white women? Like, is that the logic? Apparently, that's the logic of the Berry Sue. Let me know what you guys think, though. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.